What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player in the game of risk global domination. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do uh, fix Friday on Friday. I do the waiting on your best behavior podcast and I stream on Twitch frequently. Check out my page for the upcoming schedule. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to come along the ride with me. Um, you can support me on Patreon, help me continue to do this work, and if you'd like notifications for when I go live on Twitch, join my Discord, and join the next stream. Today, I am going to wonder who would like to be my friend. We're playing World Domination Progressive on Mont Saint-Michel. Auto setup, 60 second turn, expert AI, we don't start with any progressive cards. Alliances are on, and fog and blizzards are off, and I'm in the last position, which is probably a good thing. Let's see which bonus I can snag right off the bat. It's going to be the 3 for 4, the 4 for 4 here, I bet you. 3 for 3, 4 for 4 in the middle. And I'm going to have to try and negotiate so you can be my friend right off the bat. In the first position, we've General Duong. 1, 4, 0, 2, 4 from the United Kingdom playing as red. In the second position, we have Fred HQ from Germany playing as green. In the third position, we have Bear Ashikaga from Denmark playing as magenta and i have a feeling i've played this fellow before and look at this spawn just this big contiguous position he's getting slammed green is picking on magenta for some reason in the fourth position we have lord makina 2 from spain playing as black in position five general lu garu for one four one one five from canada playing as blue i'm in the final position this is my anything goes account uh, currently ranked 147 on the world leaderboard. We see a 5v3 get rolled. It's perfect, uh, almost perfect dice. All right. I think green will break that based on how green was behaving before. Let's see how much <laughs> material I have left. Start my turn with. I don't want to rush, but I am going to want to snag a bonus on the first turn. I have a road to go take, take, take. I have a road to go take, split, take. I can go one, two, three, maybe four, which I think is my play. I'll hold this and have a line to take this one on the next turn. Looks like black isn't putting it anywhere near me. They're trying to take across the top. And they will be successful. They have to roll two, three, V1. They choose not to. Okay. I'm making, I'm choosing to try and make alliances with these players at the end of their first turns. Where's blue going to go? I want to give green the bread idea to hit magenta. I think green is going to do it anyways. Oh, blue breaks. You see a break from blue right off the bat. All righty. And I can make a deal with, hopefully try and make a deal with blue as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a string of four singles, but I'm going to hold a bonus with them. So we get one, do it nice and slow, two, two, three, take the three for three, four, and line ourselves up. So take the four for four. Black and blue do not want to accept my alliance requests. I don't love trying to hold bonuses in the middle of the map, but as long as I'm able to hold any for any amount of time, and I'm leaving it soft too, right? I'm not depending. If anyone has the bright idea to break me, they can. 
But if this is not addressed, I can spiral out of control pretty quickly because the bonuses on Mall St. Michel are nice and juicy. If the west wall is plus three courtyards, plus four north passage across the top, it is plus four Mall St. Michel proper, plus seven. I am holding Abbey at plus three. Hill Road, plus four. Residence is three. Port is six. Old Town is four. Stores are six. Markets are seven. East Wall is nine. St. Pierre is plus seven. And North Wall is plus five. If you can hold it, we see the red player take his bonus on the second turn. Red has 28 troops. And red is in a really good position. I see my two territories inside of blue is lost. Ooh, but red is inside the bonus blue is trying to take. That might not have been a wise place to guard. Green decides to go for his own bonus since Magenta is broken. Magenta looks very weak. So I doubt they antagonize me. I think they retake, if anything. And then we see the blue the blue magenta war continue. They do still have four troops coming in, because they have a lot of board. If I'm able to sit on 18, I'll get six troops plus the three, which will be nine. And that's a really large amount to start on. Nobody else is in Mont St. Michel proper. So I can have a line to take that or I can have a line to take this plus three. We do see Magenta retake. And Bloody Blue's nose a little bit. Uh, it just creates a buffer zone. That makes sense. But Blue can break you on this side now. Let's see if he does it. Let's see if somebody decides to break me. I wouldn't be shocked if Black did it. But Black decides to take his own bonus. Great. Black and I have an understanding there. That will be good for me. And does Blue break me? I don't think so. So, if you all know how I like to play Risk, I would get greedy at this point and take a second bonus. See what blue does. Blue does still have 12 territories, so they're putting in four. Do they break magenta? They can't take their own bonus now. Blue wants to play board police. They're going to get squeezed out pretty quick. Looks like they are trying to take their own bonus. Looks like they're going to break Magenta a second time. No, holds on a five stack. Okay, I don't have 18 territories, so I start with eight instead of seven. Soft guards with a two. And just a strong stack to take. Ooh, we lose three troops on the two, though. Okay, I'm sitting with six and a two. I'm going to move that. A little bit over. Make a second bonus. Anyone can break either of them. Red does get to hold. Let's see which way they go. I'm sitting at 30 troops. Red has 34. Me and Red are the halves in this game at the moment. I don't think Red antagonizes me. I think we work better as allies. No, he does break. He's going to break one of them. That's where that four is going. That four is going right up for a break. Yes. Okay. Slows me down, but lets me have the other bonus. Not terribly opposed to that. Sits with this three stack in the bonus, so I can't have it. Unless I want to punch him. I don't need to. Having one is good. I think him breaking me at that point was a beneficial thing for me. It tells me a little bit about them. 
Is their bonus worth more than mine? No. Their bonus is worth the same as mine. Okay. That's good to know. So I think what I want to do on my next turn is I'm going to take this, but not take it all. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, but not take six. So I occupy this part of the board without taking the bonus and threatening the plus seven. Okay, Magenta has an exterior position. He is going to attack a bit more. What is the logic behind? He breaks. Magenta goes bad neighbor to black. All right. Black's at 14 troops. Does look a little bit rough for black. Yeah. I'm going to go add to my two, go one, two, three, four, five. Or I could go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And this gives me a line to kill black when and if. That's the pathing. So add to the two, one, two, three, four, five. Don't finish the bonus. Sit there with the stack that can hook back that way or hook up to kill black. And I have lines on the other two singles as well. Black's in a rough spot. I think black dies first. Okay, let's see what blue does here. Because blue can't have a bonus. They're also one of the have-nots in this game. Want to try and insist on moving in that direction. Okay, I'm at 16 territories. Red loses a four and break. Good. I'm the only guy that gets to hold a bonus. That's not true. Magenta has it, but Magenta used it to break black, so this is just dandy. Blue is really insisting upon himself. Okay, so this is the perfect time to take some of the board without taking another bonus. I don't want to become too threatening too quickly. I'm just going to use my additional troops to occupy territory. Without threatening um, an overwhelmingly scary position. That's fine. I'm totally fine with that. Green has other fish to fry. I can sit there with a seven, a seven and a six, and I don't take Monsieur Michel proper. Red's going to put in here to retake their bonus. The so red wants to somewhat be my friend, but not completely. Blue is going to get squeezed out. Black is going to get squeezed out. So we're going to end up in a four-player game with myself, Green. Magenta and red. Yeah, blue's fucked. Okay. Now what happens? Green, I think, finishes his bonus on the bottom right. Sets. Wouldn't have seen that one coming. Green sets. It goes bad neighbor to magenta? No, finishes his bonus. Okay. Insists on finishing his bonus. Yeah, 100%. Roll on the two. Green has a reasonably good guard on every single territory of that bonus, which is each of them is a front. Um, that he has to guard, and it's worth a plus six. So he's like, okay, well, I'll trade in the plus four early, and I'll get a plus six. Magenta's right next to him. Magenta got broken on the first turn. Let's see it now. Break. No, we don't. Magenta takes a plus seven. Okay. Bold move, if he gets it. One, two, three. He's going to roll the 3v1 and fail. Okay, at least he has cards. One thing I don't recommend doing is I don't recommend doing what Green did. But in this context, if he holds a plus 6, he will start to accrue value from that early set. So it's not a fatal move. Mall Saint Michel is a bonus-heavy map, and it's large, and the, the prog sequence takes a while to catch up. 
So if you can snag one or two bonuses and you can have a lot of territory, it can be beneficial to trade early. It's not always wrong like it usually is. Okay, black is guarding interior, which makes no sense. These fours are useless. This might be the turn where I insist upon myself. I have alliances with magenta, red, and green. Magenta, uh, red has broken me while being part of the alliance. I do think it's probably wise for this turn to be the turn where I insist upon myself. I don't know how far to take it, though. If I take the plus seven, I get broken. Maybe I don't push my luck yet. Just take a little bit more of the board. Only connects that way. A heart to the red player. That stack can still hit him if he fucks me. I'm just taking most of these two bonuses without finishing. Red sets in, gets the six. He's going to hit down into blue, we hope. So there isn't... I'm not really all that breakable. I'm only holding a plus three, but I'm holding most of three other bonuses. Okay, that's guarding against black. That's not guarding against anything. That's going into me. Ah, uh, it didn't work. All right. Well, I can punish red for that. Because he traded early as well. Red wants this. Red going to take a second bonus from his set. Doesn't finish. Moves out, though. Moves out of the bonus I was trying to take. Okay, and, and green four trading early does get to hold the plus six, which is good. Yeah. So it was probably worthwhile for him to set early in order to take that bonus green uh sitting at 37 troops i'm one off the lead from red at 43 to red's 42 and magenta black and blue are falling by the wayside blue is going to be in big fucking trouble um can i kill them probably i can have it here i think this position needs to survive i can kill blue for five cards I can also cut around from here. The sea lanes on uh, all St. Michelle are interesting to pay attention to you. Access from this position is, is one, two, one, two, and then one, two, all the way around across the top. Magenta sets and gets the eight. All right, we're seeing early sets. Black has no exterior position. Okay, Magenta's going to take Red's 5. But only lose a single. You're going to break my 7? No. I'm just going to take more board. An awful lot of board. They've thinned themselves out significantly. I think hitting Magenta now and breaking their bonuses ends their game. They won't be able to come back in a meaningful way and they'll get eaten before they have, have another trade. It was a crucial error um, trading this turn and spreading out like he did.
Okay. Back red, he said. in a single position he's trying to trick me into killing red that's a terrible move let's see what blue does now because blue is very much the fish what is the set okay blue sets and gets the 10 so i get the 12 what can i do with those two? i mean i could really ruin magenta's game and there's no way for them to come back from it i think even just a little bit of breaking means magenta's done Oh, does blue hit red again? Maybe red does become weak enough for me to kill. It's going to hit the three. Does he break the five? Holds, right? Red and blue are not friendly. Maybe I can kill black. Is the other thought. Black's in a single contiguous position. So if I set, hook around... Pretty close to killing them. Yeah, I kill black. Take five cards, set again. Now, everyone's at two cards, so I can punish someone. Not really face a ton of wrath. basically ended magenta's game i'm holding half the board magenta can't set no one really can set i'm friendly with green still i think i just put my stack off to the side let my bonuses get broken but i'm still going to be holding so much of the board only 48 territories at the moment red's going to break some of me there's no reason for them not to i'm holding four cards i'll have the next set as well i think these guys are in big fucking trouble Yeah, red's going to break a little bit of me on the frontier. They can break three of my bonuses they're attached to. Magenta made a key mistake setting too early. Yeah, red breaks me. No surprise. You can't let me have all that. I understand. Probably break me there too. And then pink can get in that way. Yeah. So, okay. So, red gets the plus three. And take a little, a little juice for themselves. This disincentivizes green from having to worry about me, which is good. And magenta's going to shit all over my face, but it doesn't matter because they're super weak. Yeah. Green doesn't have to worry about me. Oh, no. They're going to break me. Okay. That's surprising. If I was green, I would be the one person. I would let Magenta do it, basically. So now Magenta doesn't have to do it. Magenta can catch up. It doesn't really matter, as I said, right? I have so many more troops than most of these people. Um, I can kind of pick and choose who I kill. Also, red connected themselves with my 11 stack. Oh, and green isn't punishing me. They're just going to cut in that way. I guess. Go break, break. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I lose my bonuses. I have 39 territories. So I'm going to get plus 10 just from the territory bonus. Yeah, and they get it. That's fine. I don't need the bonus. Oh, they don't even they leave me with one bonus. Okay, so Magenta breaks that. Because fuck me, right? No. Magenta reconstitutes. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, they will. Okay, they're going to get in that way. Okay, so 35, no bonus. I'll get 10 troops, plus an 11 stack, plus 20 coming in. That's a 40 stack to kill 32. How many splits? Only one split. Yeah, I think I kill red. Get me under 30, so it'll be 9 troops. Yeah, okay. I think I kill red. But that doesn't set me in turn. Magenta, an easier fish. No, blue's the easier fish, right? Blue will have three cards for 22. A little bit rougher than I was hoping. Because if any of these guys has a set on three and they throw it into me, I'm in trouble. Kill blue, take three cards. Don't set. If Green wants to be my friend again. Yes, he doesn't. No six troops for you. Okay. Holding five cards guaranteed to set next turn if Green, Magenta, or Red have a set and it all goes to me. I'm on the ropes. It's possible for these guys to completely tag team me now. Let's see if they can. I'm at 57. Magenta's at 25. Magenta's an easy fish. Because the sets are the same amount Magenta has. So if green has a set, he can kill Magenta. Not perfectly lined up to do it. Red's going to roll. Roll 14v13 uh, and lose. Okay. All right, so red's at four cards in 24. Green sets. Green can kill red. Let's see if they do it. Or let's see if they fucking punch it into me. If green punches me too hard, they could team me up if magenta has a set. Very low likelihood scenario, but possible. It doesn't look like they're doing that. It looks like green is playing a more fixed style guarding game rather than hunting for kills. So they're going to waste their set. And now the only thing that sinks me is if magenta has a set. But even then, I don't think magenta kills me. Which means I can eat red then eat them. No. Well, let's see. Let's see if Magenta has a set. I, I don't think they will. Looks like Green's just going to take another bonus. Why? Yeah, because he doesn't know. He doesn't know that uh, he's playing progressive. Green is playing fixed cards right now. Yeah. Magenta sees that he is in trouble. Just me as hard as he can. Right. Well, 24 for 4 is the best deal I can find. And the sets are 30? Yeah. Keep hitting me. You got to. Okay, I have to kill red with. Two splits, I'm going to get 8 plus 30, 38 on the 5. Yeah, I should be all right. Just make sure it works. 
you do the risky rolls first, guys. Yeah, that's why. Well, it's hundred percent. So you guys just saw the one percent scenario. Let's see if green kills magenta. A 1% scenario where the 8v4 loses. Now we're on the ropes. If red sets, they kill magenta and set again. If red doesn't set, magenta kills them. But magenta dies to green. No set. Red's going to be holding five cards. Okay. I'm pretty sure magenta dies to green unless green is really bad. So I fed that kill, and I fed a four-card kill to green. But I think that wins me the game. If green doesn't kill magenta, I would be kind of surprised, but you never know. I think green can easily do it, right? He's right next to him. He's getting 16. Let's see that kill. I can't believe I lost the 1% roll. And see, it's good to have it on the show, guys, because I use it as an example of you got to make the risky move first. So the risky move was there's a 1% chance that roll fails, 99 to 1. So I we saw the 1% occurrence, and it, it made it so that I couldn't make the kill. So I stop, right? I don't hit the rest of red. Instead, I make a pivot and hit magenta. Green is going to kill magenta. He's going to set. He's going to get an extra 30 seconds, and then he's going to take half the board but very slowly. Because green moves slowly, I still have the chance to kill red. I'm not holding any bonuses, but I have 48 territories. Let's see what he, first of all, let's see what he does with his final 30 seconds. Maybe he's fast enough to kill red, but I don't think so. If he hurts any of red but doesn't finish, it makes my kill easier. He's wasting time. Looks like he's guarding. Take this bonus here. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, man. Fuck, oh, it's so close. What gets a five, guys? It, all of these bad rolls have to have to succeed. 86%. Okay, 86 is good. Let's make sure we get this. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. Okay, I think we got it. 86% to win. That was a tough kill. <laughs> that was a tough kill, but now I win the game. GG. Whew! Feels good. I'm really glad I got that on video. That was split. Feels good, guys. We did it. Okay. So this is a great example of how to leverage alliances to understand what people are going to do, how to put yourself in different positions, how to pivot when things go wrong, um, how to read your opponents. I'm very happy with this video. I think it was um, expository and explanatory in a number of different ways. It shows a number of different skills that you're going to want to have in free-for-all progressive. Green will make a feeble attempt 
to hit me back, but he's too slow, which is another reason you want sometimes in the late game, if you're fucked, you want to feed kills to a slower player because you might end up in a situation where the faster player could kill you if they set and would kill you if they set. So that pivot was essential. When, when I failed to kill on red, um, the pivot to hitting magenta super hard and feeding the magenta kill to green ended me in this situation where green is just not fast enough to hit me meaningfully. And I still have two thirds of the board. He can have as much, he can have as big of a stack as he wants, right? I'm, I'm going to be able to take it back. So green is in a single position with a 51 stack. I have 95 troops, four cards, and 82 territories. No set on four. Green runs in a straight line. I take everything back that he takes. We went in two turns. It's an okay job of breaking my bonuses. I think he's going to leave me with three, with two. He's going to leave me with two bonuses that are worth a lot, though. Plus five and plus seven. So I get 12 extra troops. He was pretty close to breaking all of them. I think if he just had a slightly different path, he could have broke all my bonuses, which is one thing you want to do in, in the 1v1, right? You don't want your opponent getting any more troops than they have to. Sitting with a 28 stack. Let me throw some random random rolls at him. Twenty-five troops remain, no set. We're gonna see the same thing happen unless he yields. Does not yield. Okay. This is your last turn, sir. Feels pretty good. I like how he walked all the way around to plus seven, too, without breaking it. I'd have him even without a set. A well played and a good game. There you have it. He's a gentleman. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little fancy bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube and I stream on Twitch frequently. Check my page for the upcoming schedule. Uh, if you're able to support me on Patreon, help me continue to do this work. I would be most grateful. Donations are always appreciated and never required. If you'd like to get notifications for when I go live on Twitch, join, join my Discord 
get the notifications and catch the next stream, defeating three beginners and two experts. I'm sure we get one or two rank points. We go from, we get uh, eight, level eight battle points here. We get some kind of reward, I assume. Oh, I get some gems, sweet. Um, yeah, we rank from 147 to 146. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.